previously on Feeding the Trolls. So, like, Half-Life 2 is one of the worst games ever made. Um, its graphics are shit, like you can see. It's, it's like, it's not even Call of Duty graphics. It's like, shit graphics. Um, the only people who really play it now are like, bronies or fags, cause this fucking game's gay as fuck. I mean, look at this. I have to, like... Oh, that's bullshit. Uh... Um... Like, the character design is fucking awful, because it's all gay, and, um... They're trying to emulate some game from the 80s. I think it's Contra. Uh... One of the... Like, there's, there's a character in it called Alex, and, like, she wears pants, and, like, she doesn't show any of her boobs. And, uh, games now, I mean, really, women in games should really be naked. Uh, cause, you know, that's, that's all, that's all the, the characters, like, really, really good characters don't wear a whole lot of clothes, like, like Ryu or or like uh, like that other I I can't think of her um, like Final Fantasy characters are like the best characters ever and uh, you know Sonic's not in this game and so like right off the bat how could you make a game Oh my God! Time to feed the trolls. The cats are starting to talk to me. Most of the people in this game can't even play. All you gotta do is carry around a soldier, and you'll get lots of kills doing absolutely nothing. Um, I think that really depends on who you're playing with, you know? The only time I ever played this game online, I had my ass handed to me. And I've been playing this kind of game since 93. Where's the fun in that? And then you've got the man company updates or whatever, where they're like, new stuff, new hats to buy. I mean, who cares about hats that you can buy with real money? Ah, uh, finally, a, a legitimate point. How long, how long did that take us to get it? Time is an illusion experienced by inferior beings. See, I mean, exactly, though. You actually brought up a valid observation. Valve, who the fuck cares about hats? I mean, I, I do kind of understand that the hats add powers to your character, but, you know, wouldn't you like to pay for something a little bit more complicated than a hat some modeler probably sat down and did in, like, three hours? But, yeah, you know, who the fuck am I to judge? I mean, I bought Duke Nukem Forever Balls of Steel Edition, so... <laughs> fuck. I mean, sure, there are some people who are into it, just like how there are stupid people in Call of Duty really into emblems or customizing their gun layouts, but in here, it's pointless, especially when you're spending real money on this. It's one thing if you're getting these hats for free, but apparently, you have to spend real money on it, unless you have premium, which requires either spending money on it, or buying a TF2 box. Hey, you know, that's how free-to-play works. Valve's gotta make money off of this somehow. Which is just a key that says your premium. Well, it originally got you the game back when you stole to pay for this piece of garbage, but it doesn't anymore. And you know I was talking earlier about the community sucks? Well, most of the people in this game abuse features of this game, like the spray feature. The spray feature is only used for either spraying LOL, you suck. Dumb images uh, you no find on the internet, or porn. I always see it for the latter, because I go into a freaking server and everyone's freaking spraying Pokemon porn and shit. How the fuck else are they gonna use it? You, you want them to spend the time making tactical maps of the particular match they're in, and then spray painting it up on the board so their teammates can see? They, they're, this game is, is, it's for laughs, don't, you know how to laugh, right? It's all Fun and, and cartoony and, and killing and, and, and cartoon violence and stuff. No one takes it seriously. So yeah, someone's spraying around some hentai. Who cares? That's how they choose to use their spray thing. It's not affecting the game. Although that, that would kind of be fun, being able to sneak up on an opponent and, and spraying your, your tag on their model. Ah! 
And then you can pick up items like Man Company Crate number 69, where you actually have to pay to get the stuff in it. I kid you not, you have to pay real money to get the items you unlock. You don't have to pay for every single item you unlock. And, you know, again, yeah, that's how free-to-play remains free-to-play. They have to siphon off money from something else. That's just as bad as buying weapons for about a no, day in combat man, arms. It's muted. stupid. Well, you know, dude, no one is forcing you to buy them. And if they add no real difference to gameplay, then I, I wouldn't be complaining. It's not like some guy can go in there with thousands of dollars and become a god. Although that would be kind of awesome. Yeah, you know, like, like set up special maps where people who have bought these god powers have to... They can, they can only play with each other and it's, it's like they're throwing chunks of the map at each other. Shooting lightning, missiles, giant boulders and shit. I'd, I'd pay a decent amount of money for that. Why should I pay real money just for in-game items which add almost absolutely nothing to the gameplay? I mean, it's just not that great. I mean, why should I just run around all over the place trying to buy items when that add up nothing to the gameplay? It's just as bad as this slot content, which everyone makes videos about, but ironically nobody makes any videos about TF2 being stupid. Yeah, it's because people like Team Fortress 2. And let's not forget that VAC is another piece of crap that never works. So this game has hackers up the ass. Any server you go on is going to have at least a few hackers. And you know, even if you can avoid the hackers somehow, because the way the game works, you can easily make new accounts every day. So you can actually have to make and deal oh, with no, all sorts no. of stupid hackers every day the servers that i've been on didn't have any hackers so not everybody's experience is the same i guess and don't even get me started on server admins because half the time they are never on they're too busy afk in their little hug box or some shit because they're too lazy to actually respond Oops, to your requests. I mean, I've seen servers getting uh, crashed before just... with exploits, and the admins don't even give uh, a crap yeah. that people are um, exploiting just... in their yeah, it's servers. The stream, but then it's just stupid, so... Look, it sounds like you have more trouble with the community than the actual game. So why didn't you call this rant on the Team Fortress 2 community? This is not a game review! All in all, I really think TF2 is a crappy game. Wow, that three second thing you just said? It, yeah, it gave me more information than the last five minutes! But if you want to have lots of fun, there is a better solution though. I mean, there's a game with similar gameplay, but a much better community. Because, well, even though there's fewer players, it's still more fun in the end than TF2. What game is this, you may ask? Team Fortress Classic. Honestly, that's not Team Fortress Classic. You want to see Team Fortress Classic? This is Team Fortress Classic. This thing, back when these concepts were new and exciting, this was hell. But this? This is TF. This is, this is Valve's thing. It's based on the Gold Cirque engine. Yeah, I have a lot of fond memories of this game. But, again, you're judging an entire game based on an annoying community. Hell, you didn't even show an another fucking map. It was all the same bridge one. And, you know, by the way, I like that map. It's far better than TF2. Sure, it doesn't have those cartoonish style graphics, but it has much better gameplay. You see, you can throw grenades and stuff, and the classes are better balanced and are more useful. You can actually throw grenades in this game by holding on the G button, and that changes up the gameplay big time and makes it a lot more fun. There are other features, such as classes being more balanced and having more weapons to offset the others. No stupid hats. No stupid crap like, you know, mad company crates. It is $5, but it's a lot better than TF2, so... Why are you being a cheapo and only playing TF2 when you can get this game for five bucks? I mean, are people really too cheap for five bucks these days? I don't know, are people too cheap to make a decent game review? Yes!
Yes, they are. I mean, I can fly five ducks in the street. Whoa, 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 hold on. We can trade poultry for games now? Shit, what? I, I didn't know that. How much can I get for five guineas? Because I'd, I'd like to get the new Civilization game. All in all, overall, TF2 sucks, and TFC is a better game. Please, people, save your money and get TFC instead, and stop playing stupid F2P games that are just garbage. And that was Gilgar13. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, um, if you'll excuse me, I gotta, I gotta take care of him. He's, uh... You're, you're not looking all right.